Okay, uh, a question from Gentian, one of many, and about where where should I put the script? And it's all about meta tags. Um, and he's done the, a meta generator. Okay, so in, this is in Bootstrap Studio. And I actually think I told him the wrong thing on the uh, answer to this. So in Bootstrap Studio, you would have, there's really only two things that you need. I want to hear you. So, um, we just go to settings on Bootstrap Studio and we go to meta tags. All right. Add meta tag. Okay. So, what you're doing here is, is uh, I'll just put two names there. The name here is meta tag. Um, and the first one there is description. So, what you put in there is description. I don't think you would need. Uh, although it's got there, uh, I don't think you need um, speech marks. Okay, so your description in you put uh, gen in you put content equals ga dot ma holden. What the content means or the, um, the the description means is that you describe what you're actually doing. So, for example, um, I am a lawyer. Um, Lawyer from Albania, um, and this um, and etc. etc. This is what I do. Um, I would put this approximately about between about twenty five and thirty words, because I think when you you the whole issue of search engine optimization is a lot of smoke and mirrors. To get on Yahoo and Bing, um, it's a, it's quite easy. To get in, in the um, top on Google, that's a different thing altogether. Um, so th there's people, in the next one here, which is name, uh, it's keywords. Now, a lot of people in the industry don't think that keywords actually count for very much now. Um, and what you've put there is about, is, is, is okay, you know, that, um well, I just I just copy and paste that because that's fine. Okay. Uh and that just goes into Bootstrap Studio like that with control V. So I think that's okay, but with the description you just describe something about yourself, but not in a million words. You don't need any of that. Thirty and you know, between I think fifteen and thirty, I think as is, is what experts thing and I'm not an expert in search engine optimization but I've never had a feeling as to get to the the number definitely in the top two pages I often you know there's not many I've got a website at the moment that I haven't if I'm being honest I, I just cannot get it in the top uh, top pages in Google but but there are things that you need to do and you said that you don't have a um, you know, you don't have that, yeah, your website online. I'll do a few videos on, on things like uh, Google Analytics and, and why you need that. Because you cannot do anything because you've got to have a tracking code by Google that tracks your website and crawls it and all the rest of it. Um, but this is how you just do your, your, um, your description and keywords. The rest of it is not really that relevant. Um, and what else did you see? A title, I think. I think uh, the title can be put on here, which is, which you, you've you've done, uh, hold on a minute, I'll just put that. Um, yeah, the, the thing is, is that it's probably better, you know, to put things in um, lowercase. Once over, when I was learning all this stuff, it didn't really matter. And, and to be quite honest, I, um, I did a lot of things because it was easier for me to see in um, and, and uh, higher case. Um, so that's what you would do there. You put that on the head content, okay, and you just save that. So that would go within Bootstrap Studio, that would do that for you now. And when you export that, your meta tags, uh, your description, your keywords, it'll be okay, and your title will be there as well. Um, but as I say, I'll do a few videos on SAO. The how to, um, I mean, at first it can be 
quite when well, fucked at first. I think it's always daunting to when you um, add your site to um, things like Yahoo and Bing that you only have to do it once because they're sort of the same thing. When you do Google, you have to add that, and that, that's not a problem either. But when it comes to actually you've of ways to um, get get your site really onto Google, the only things that that people agree with is that look quite a few h1 and h2 tags on your thing in your website and try and match your title to your h1 uh, tags in your description somewhere that's something else i would advise um other things is that is do not go or be seduced by people who will email you about things um we can get your page, your website, under the first page in Google. Um, this is totally wrong. Never go for that because what, what these people do, I'm not saying that they cannot do that, but Google don't like that. And I know that, um, I think it was BMW who got wrong over something like this a few years ago, where they got uh, a lot of backlinks and things like that, and they got wrong of Google. And once your reputation is damaged like that, Google don't like you to uh, to be back on there. So go through the right channels. It does take time sometimes um, to get high on Google, but that's and sometimes it's a waiting game. But that's all I've really got to say on it. I do some at, at this point. I'll do some uh, videos on on a few things. But as I say, I'm not an expert, but uh, I usually get there in the end. But it's a, it's a difficult path because there's another thing is that try and have your domain name something a little bit different to everybody else's because if everybody's calling, like say in the UK, John Smith, um, you're not going to get anywhere because there's a million, million, billion John Smiths. So it's, uh, that can be a bit difficult as well. So anyway, uh, just a few tips and hints. Okay, thanks for watching.